Now let's look at 23rd, 2003, question 2, part B. All right, this is a relative uh, velocity question with an intersection. Now, even though it's a part B, the only real difference between this and some of the part A's is that the cars are moving at angles, okay? Nothing too freaky. So we have two straight rows intersecting at an angle of 60 degrees. This is all, this is the only difference we need to worry about. Car A is moving at 7.5 meters per second. You can see in the arrows going to the right, so 7.5i. Car B is moving at 10 meters per second an annoying angle, so we have a small bit of work to do here. And then we're told later on they're 375 meters away from the intersection when car B passes it. Okay, so let's begin to lay this out. We're going to have two diagrams overall. So there is our two roads. Okay, A is over here and it's moving at 7.5 meters. Okay, we don't know anything about the distance yet. We do know that's 60 degrees. And B is somewhere down here moving at 10 meters per second. Okay, up in this direction. Convey a little direction here too. All right, well, <coughs> they're gonna be very nice to us in this question because they're actually gonna walk us through it. So in part one, we need to find the velocity of A relative to B. Well, we know that the velocity of A relative to B is the velocity of A minus the velocity of B because this is one of those fabulous little things with all your revision, you know for certain. Well, the velocity of A is 7.5i, with nothing in the j direction. And the velocity of B, we need to do a little bit more work for. Let's look at it this way. If we were to try and split it up into i's and j's, okay, we'd have our i component here and our j component over here, which I wrote and won't write in for reasons you'll see in a second. Well, let's look at our, what we know. We know that this is 60 degrees. So, this speed over here is going to be 10 sine 60 in the j direction and 10 cos 60 in the i direction. So, let's pop those in there. Sine, of course, sine 60, j. Um, we can actually tidy these up a little bit because they're not too scary. So if we take our calculator, and you may be getting used to these at some point, but cos 60 is, of course, a half. So that is 5i. And sine 60 is a little more annoying. It's root 3 over 2, so this is going to become 5 root 3. Double check our pluses and minuses. Yep, positive, positive. I've got them right here. So, VAB, velocity of A relative to B, is simply 7.5i minus VB, which is 5i plus 5 root 3j. Seven point five minus 5i put all the i's together, minus 5 root 3j, so VAB equals 2.5i minus 5 root 3j. And there we have part one. Now, part two, how far are they from the intersection at the instant they're nearest to each other? Okay, so let's put B at the intersection. Two reasons for B at the intersection. One is because they told us it's at the intersection. So at this little point here, there is our roads. B is at the intersection and A is 375 away from it. But if they hadn't told us this and they don't always do they're not always quite this nice to us. We know that B is the annoying one because it's at an angle. So let's sort it out and then we only have to worry about A. Okay, so we have these here. Um, now let's have a look and see how these guys are moving. So let's look at our movement. So VAB, the magnitude of it 
is the square root of each of the components, 2.5 plus 5 root 3, put in brackets so we don't end up making a little bit of a mistake there. All right, and that, if we work this all out, is going to be 6 point, of course, let's work this out carefully, uh, 2.5 squared, 6.25, exactly, 6.25 plus, and that is actually going to be 75. So that is the square root of 81.25, which equals... 9.01. All right. We also know the want to know the direction. Well, it's going to be going again. I always write draw a little graph for this one. It's going to be going across and down. All right. So we want to know this angle here, alpha. It's going to be across by 2.5, down by 5, root 3. So tan of alpha is 5 root 3 over 2.5 so alpha equals tan inverse of that And there we are, um, 73.9 degrees. Okay, that's how it's going to round on this one. Okay, so come back up to our diagram. We know that A is moving down like this at 73.9 degrees. All right, our shortest distance Okay, now, I clearly haven't drawn these angles perfectly. It won't be this angle here because it's not going to line up with the 60 degrees. So we're just going to call it a little picture like that. And we shall christen the lovely point here at the shortest distance, x. So we want to know how far each is from the intersection. So therefore, we want to know Part two, time when A gets to X. So the cos of 73.9 is the adjacent, which is AX, over the hypotenuse, which is 375. So AX equals 375 cos 73.9, which means that AX is 103.99 meters. All right, now, where are we gonna go next? Well, we want to know the time it gets there. So time to AX, well, the time is the distance over the speed. So the distance is 103.99 over the speed, which is 9.01, and that comes out to 11.54 seconds. Now, so let's just see what happens at 11.54 seconds. Well, for A, At 11.54 seconds, it has traveled, and let's go back here, it was going 7.5 meters per second. Eighty-six point five five meters. 
Okay. Therefore, it is 375. minus 86.55 and that is going to be 288 meters to the nearest meter if we read the question carefully okay why don't I have to worry about going back to the beginning well at this point this is our reference point here this is our time equals zero all right now, in that case, we look at B in the situation as well. Well, 11.54, B has gone it's going 10 meters per second by 11.554, so that equals 115 meters to the nearest meter.